everyone welcome back to my channel and today i am going to show you my purchases from comic con haul so it's been a week yesterday saturday since i met the one and only joseph quinn um i traveled all the way to london and i had the most amazing day i only went for saturday but i do wish i went on the sunday as well now so i have a bag of goodies here and I'm basically just going to show you what I got. It was my first ever Comic Con experience ever. I've never been to an event like that before and I had the most amazing time. Purely went just to meet Joseph Quinn, like that's it. Um, but I had the most amazing day and I went with my mum as well. So I'm going to show you everything, what I got, including the boring wristbands as well, because, you know, it all comes with a package. Okay, so the first thing I got, I well, I did buy these, um, were my diamond passes. I picked these up on the Friday because I left on the Friday. And I get over there. I did get two diamond passes. Um, these are my own lanyards, and I believe these are the wanted lanyards when I met the wanted last year. And it's been a year since I met the boys and I miss them so much. But yeah, this is the diamond pass for Saturday. I was number 195 and 49. Um, and on the Sunday diamond pass, it's the one where he's opening his arms. And I, I do regret not going Sunday now. But yeah, so these are the diamond passes. A diamond pass, if you've never been before in the UK, you're guaranteed a photo and an autograph with them. So I got two photos and two autos with him. I got them both done at the same time, so I didn't. So it saved me queuing basically twice because I got there early in the morning because I knew it was going to be hectic later on in the day. And from the people sat down on the floor near his booth, it, I made the right decision there. So yeah, I'm glad I went in the morning to get it, and then I had the rest of the day to look around the stores, have something to eat, etc. So this is the weekend pass I got. I don't know why I got a weekend pass when I didn't even go Sunday. That was a waste of money, but oh well. And then obviously my mum came with me because she's my carer, so it's just the boring carer and help pass. They can be thrown away now. On to the purchases. So the first purchase I made was, I've got itchy nose again, this beautiful Eddie carering. So this is by an artist. I can't remember the name, but I have got the big picture as well because you know I love everything Eddie and Joseph Quinn again my camera is not doing this justice um these were two pounds each or three for a fiver I got myself an Eddie one and I got my mum a Chucky one and my nephew a Wednesday one so this will be going on my bag there or there whichever one it is I don't know that one I think with the rest of my Stranger Things carings I got this amazing stranger things photo frame i mean just look at the detail on that there's bits and bobs from every series and i actually didn't see this eddie piece until i brought it home and my nephew said oh look eddie's there i actually brought it for the vecna because i thought he looks so cool um i don't know if it's actually showing up on camera but yeah i think this was 15 or 10 I can't actually remember I'm going to take this print out because it is a basic print and it is a little bit blurry and I'm going to put a photo of either Eddie or Joseph Quinn in there because you know he is my hero but yeah um she had lots of different ranges of styles of this frame all different films and tv shows next thing I purchased was this thing and um, this isn't for me this is for my nephew because he's mad on Wednesday, um, he won't start listening to Lady Gaga's song, even though it's not even in Wednesday. But yeah, that dance song where Wednesday dances in the ballroom scene. Um, this was 15, I think. 15 or 25, I can't remember now. But the man who was selling them was so lovely. And they also had a swearing one because he said, which one would you like? And I told him it's for my nine-year-old nephew, so I better get... The proper one and not the swearing one but yeah so that's thing um he will be ever so happy with this because he's been asking for one um for weeks now so yeah got that so i got this beautiful print i absolutely fell in love with it because this is where a lot of eddie fans will probably slate me 
But you know the pose with the devil horns? I find that so cringe. I mean, Joseph Quinn pulled it off perfectly. But then it went viral. And everyone around the world started doing it. And then that's when the uh, artist of Joseph Quinn, you know, I mean, it made, it made it. It made it cringe. So I tried to avoid buying prints and stuff like that, which is a shame because that's the main print artists and stuff do of Eddie slash Joseph. So I look for prints now of other scenes, what Eddie slash Joseph does. And this scene in the woods with Chrissy, I absolutely fell in love. I do wish Chrissy was in more episodes because she was beautiful. And Grace is a gorgeous actor, actress. I absolutely love Grace. She's so sweet. I hope I get to meet her one day soon. But yeah, that's the artist. I completely forgot because Dante took the card with the artist's name on because it had Wednesday on the back of it. So I completely forgot the artist's name. But yeah, this was a tenner, I think. And I've got a frame ready to stick this in. But I thought the colours in the background and oh, he's just perfect. I absolutely love it. So yeah, if you're in England and you, you're you selling or know anyone who draws Joseph or Eddie stuff, but not the one with the devil horns, please let me know because I'm looking to buy more artwork. Now on to the photos and the autographs. So I didn't actually buy that much. Um, yeah, there was a lot more I could have brought, but obviously I had to get, get the coach home the same day. So I limited it very, very well because i still need to get a frame for it so this is my second one done with the diamond pass um joseph bless him it didn't have time to put his fingers up because the photos anyone who's done a comic con they go so fast for people who are very popular bless him i bet he don't have time to breathe and stuff when he does these but yeah um my first photo is the one i love the most because i i, I just love it but yeah, um, when I said to him, I've got two photos with you, he wanted to do different poses. But obviously, his fingers look a bit blurry on this because he didn't have time to put his arm all the way up. But yeah, I absolutely love it. I hate how my teeth are showing because I hate my teeth. Um, but yeah, I'm just so happy I finally got to meet him. So that's my first photo. I need to get a frame for this. These will also be part of the purchase i forgot i bought two photo frames as well both eddie munson style slash joseph quinn and i've obviously framed them so this is the frame i got you can't see shit can you because of the darkness oh um so yeah this is the first frame i think these were 25 each but because i got both of the joseph quinn plus eddie munson styles he knocked a tenner off, I think, so he charged me for 40, so yeah. See it? I think you see it a bit better, I think. Let me just turn the ring light off for a minute. Oh no, it's gone bad. Um, I don't know if you can see it better or not, actually. But you get the gist of what the frame looks like. So you get two photos and then the name plaque. The, they do these in every single style, whatever celebrities there, they do them in that. And they also have a website. So I am planning on buying another one to put my other photo in. There we go. So that was my first photo up with him. And I asked for a cuddle and he just put his arms around me. And I absolutely love it and I miss him so much. Um, yeah, I absolutely love that. How he's got his arm up, uh, his hand on my arm. I absolutely love. Like, I felt like I wanted to cry, but I kept it in for the photo. But I absolutely love that photo. Then we have his name plaque, which is backwards, obviously, because I'm filming, Joseph Quinn. And then we have two of the scenes I know, it's the devil horn, everyone uses that photo. And then we have that one in the woods. But yeah, so that's my first photo, I absolutely love that photo. I'm never going to get over that, I absolutely love it. So from afar, again, I don't think you can see, but that's the first photo up. And then you've seen the other one. And then I was booked in for the upside down photo shoot. Now, I thought it was going to be like last year's where the upside down prop thing is behind them. Because I thought that would look really cool. But it wasn't. It was a green screen. So I just went with your standard hand on the back pose. Um, I also had my glasses on in this photo because I didn't have time to take my glasses off. And I, I just hate how I look. 
But this is the second frame I brought. Obviously, it's the iconic Eddie on the guitar. Again, you can't see shit because my camera's shit. But yeah, I I love how the photo actually goes with the frame. Like, that is actually cool. So yeah, that's my second photo op done. I do have glare on my glasses. And they did ask me if I wanted to retake, but because the glare wasn't in my eyes and I was running late for the coach, I, I just said, yeah. Um, because my other one, it could have been even worse. And I ain't got time to be standing in a photo booth all the time. Um, but yeah, um, if I ever do meet Joseph again, I'm definitely doing a weekend one if he does weekend. Um, just got to make the most of it. But yeah, that's the other photo frame. Again, you can't see it very good. I will take photos on Instagram. But yeah, that was my third photo with him. So I had three photos on the Saturday. And I just absolutely love it. He is so sweet. So lovely. And if you ever get to meet him, please do. Because he's such a down to earth actor. And I really hope he gets on in life. So this is my auto. So I didn't want to bring any Eddie stuff because I feel like that's the majority of everyone takes at these things. And plus, I didn't really want to carry around pops or stuff like that. And these are my favourite photo shoots he's done so far. So I thought, you know what, I'll just bring two posters with me. So this is from the 1883 magazine and that's his signature there. Um, sorry for the glare, it's already in the frame, but yeah, I've had these since last year, so that's the first one, uh, well, he actually signed that one second, um, bless him, I did secretly record the auto because everyone else does, but I'm not going to show it anywhere because it's a special moment between me and him, which I will forever remember, but when he's seen the years, because the girls in front of me, they were all Eddie stuff, and I just wanted to see, you know, his face when he's seen this poster because this photo shoot right here is my favourite one he's ever done. Like his face on that one. I, I just love it. He looks so happy. Um, but yeah, when he's seen this, when the lad who was working with him, volunteering next to him, gave it him, his face lit up, bless him. But yeah, that's my second daughter. I got my name on this one. I didn't want my name on both. And you can't really see it very good. He asked which one I wanted to sign. And I said, um, I'll let you pick. And he said, we'll go in the middle then. So it gets them all. So yeah, and I also got kisses on both of mine. I didn't ask for that. I know some people ask for kisses or love arts on their merch. And I didn't because I'm too shy to do that. I'm too anxious to do that. But he did it on mine without asking. And that like is a core memory for me. Everything I got from Comic Con, this haul is going to be so long and I'm so sorry. Um, I just had the best time ever and I think I've got the buzz now for Comic Cons. Like, like I've had post-con blues since leaving and I just want to do it all over again. Like, seeing the merch, what people sell, I love it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you was at Comic Con on the Saturday 4th of March. And what did you buy? And yeah, I think I will do a video on me and Joe. Maybe, maybe. Let me know if it's something you want to see. Um, stay safe and I will see you all in my next video.